Hello, today I'm going to uh, show you an introduction into Virus Agama. Specifically, the first time you're using a blockchain wallet is very intimidating. You can download the graphical wallet on our website, viruscoin.io, and you can choose between Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Just click on the wallet you need and click on Save, and then click on the SHA256 link and save that as well. I have already done that in, uh, in preparation for this video, so I have all the files already available in my download section. Uh, you can see here, I've also downloaded the MDA5 and the SHA checksum utility. I'll show you the link later on. Uh, what you can do with that is open up the file and it will show you a checksum starts uh, generating it now and you got four checksums now we got to check that against something and that's why we downloaded that SHA256 file you can open it using uh, a text editor you see I'm having a bit of trouble uh, doing what I want to do I click on more apps and I click on notepad and you see a, uh, a loan number with a file name behind it. Copy that, file, uh, that long number and paste it into the hash section like I'm doing right now and click on verify and then it says whether the file matches that number or not. This is a security feature which enables you to know uh, whether it's a safe file. Okay we'll need to open up uh, the zip file we downloaded and you'll see a lot of stuff. Uh, it does not have an installer, so you'll need to extract everything into any folder you like. I'm simply going to put that somewhere I like. I'll put it on my desktop for now, I think. Desktop, I'll find a nice folder name so I can remember what it is. It does not exist. I'll need to create a folder for that. Agama. And we'll click on select folder and click on extract. It will extract simply. Okay, I'm running on a virtual machine, so it's not as fast as a normal machine. So you'll have to bear with me for a sec. Uh, as I said, Verizagama is a multi coin wallet, but I'm going to be specific about Verus coin right now. Um, other coins are similar, but Ferris coin is basically the main focus for me right now. It's just an explanation what you can run into the first time you install this wallet. It has some, uh, well, I wouldn't call it peculiarity. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it strange, but uh, if you don't know what you're running into, it might seem very unfamiliar. Okay, what I did is I extracted it to a folder and I just created the shortcut on my desktop because I'm lazy, I don't want to open any folders uh, if I don't need to. And I'll open Agama through the shortcut. It will show you a uh, Windows Defender uh, message that it wants to connect to the internet. That is okay. We will allow that. We need network. There are a couple of ways you can open uh, Virus. You can open it in light mode, in native mode, and you can go to activate coin to open it and then it will uh, show you those two choices. We're going to use a shortcut and we get a message right away. The Zcash parameters are missing. You can download it from three locations. The standard location will do just fine. Just click on download and it will uh, download all the files you needed. You see they start downloading only now. I'm not going to wait on that. I uh, already prepared something and you'll see uh, the last file downloading right now and it's done. What it says, close the modal and try again to add the coin. So we close the modal and we simply select the virus coin again and you see it's starting up. Now we're in the screen and it says loading data, please wait. Uh, the first time you start up or any time you start up, 
the uh, coin daemon needs to load and it needs to access the internet as well which I just gave permission to uh, on my firewall you'll see it's connecting to peers that means it's uh, looking for the internet for any other nodes that run a gamma to connect to so it can uh, start comparing the data on your machine and here we see it has connected it has two connections but it has no data so it starts downloading that can take hours so I close a gamma and I uh, downloaded the bootstrap in advance uh, you'll get the link later on as well and in Windows you'll have to do that using you have to open that using 7-zip uh, okay my screen is acting up I see there okay never mind that uh, we're going to use 7-zip uh, to extract uh, the virus coin bootstrap to the proper location um, I already have it downloaded by the way because I don't want to wait for that I'm going to open up the bootstrap and where did I do that I downloaded the bootstrap via the fuck how to and then I go to how do I get something done backup install or update the bootstrap to your wallet which will bring you to this page it has a 7 zip utility linked it has a checksum utility linked it has uh, the download page links and also the virus bootstrap page linked which brings you to this site it gives you some general information on how to reach us it gives you a timestamp when it was made the height the block height and of course uh, the bootstrap itself and also with those checksums I didn't bother the checksum this time but it is advisable to do that okay in 7 zip we open it up and in there is another archive we double click that and it starts unpacking that uh, as I said I'm running on a uh, virtual machine so it will take a while I'm going to fast forward in a bit yep there we are and you see two folders blocks and chain state and those two blocks and chain state need to be uh, copied to percentage app data percentage backslash komodo backslash vrsc that is the data folder and here you see blocks and chain state and we simply going to move that stuff we're going to copy it over or move it whatever you want and we're going to put it in the correct place so that basically makes sure that uh, you are completely up to date until those dates and block heights that were mentioned on uh, the bootstrap website okay what we can do now is close everything on our screen and start up Agama again and we'll start with exactly the same way uh, as we did before we select our wallet in native mode and it starts up it again gives me the uh, message I must have not allowed it properly the last time and we wait a bit for it to load what it's going to do right now is going to scan everything uh, from start to end uh, for any transfers made in your wallet uh, since you have a new wallet it won't find anything but it will scan and this is also going to take a couple of minutes depending on your hardware okay what you see now is we're fully up to speed we have three connections to the network we have a brand new wallet so you probably have never seen that address again before we can make new addresses with get new address in this case I just made a private address and we can copy the private keys 
and those private keys are important because you can restore your address on any wallet with that uh, I'm gonna make a text document I'm gonna remove it later and I'm call it with wallet import format and I'm just gonna paste the uh, the with key in that I'm gonna do the same for my Z address and you'll notice something strange when I paste it when I paste it it is a very long one and it starts with secret extended key main don't make a mistake that is part of the key if you paste that key into your uh, into another wallet you'll need the entire key including those words that wouldn't make sense to you now what if we already have a address you can fill in your seed and import it that way or what you can do is you can put in your with key which I have somewhere uh, you can simply paste it or you can type it I paste it I don't even show it and you see on the bottom right wallet notification address imported and you'll see it appearing here I got a nice address rvirus and it shows zero as the balance my total balance stays zero why does it do that well I can show you I did not trigger a rescan and unfortunately that doesn't work if you forgot it the first time you can say oh I'll import it again and say rescan no it doesn't so don't forget to trigger the rescan the first time you import it what you'll need to do if you didn't do that is exit start up again and start virus a slightly different way but that's only if you need to rescan normally you do you don't need to do that what you do is you select virus coin and you choose the daemon parameter rescan in native mode that will start scanning the blockchain for all addresses in your wallet and it will um, add all the transactions and it will end up in your final balance here you see that there's a lot of transactions and you see a whopping 13 virus coin balance <coughs> I'm sorry and you see that also here my RFRS account has uh, 13 in there yeah okay now what we want to do is start mining and staking those coins and uh, if you want to start staking you simply click on the gray mining button and you click on start staking the button will change into stop staking so it will actually uh, display the command you can use you cannot use start staking anymore because it's already and um, because I'm uh, always I always want to check if I'm staking I'm going to uh, settings and CLI and type in there get mining info which will return me a uh, block of text and in that text you'll see staking true it will also take say generating true but the number of threads is zero so it is not generating any coins from mining it is staking however in here we have uh, some other things in app config for example uh, you'll have to quietly walk through and see what's all there uh, you have a lot of options but there are some very specifics you can put in a sapling address for state guard now what is state guard state guard is a security if you uh, see someone staking on the same address on the network uh, with two nodes you can uh, actually uh, catch them and they lose their reward and you get their reward uh, how do we do that we copy the, uh, the sapling address or private address or Z address and we go back in there and we go down and we simply paste that address in there Uh, while we're here we automatically want to start staking Viruscoin when it's launched and we save if you don't save you'll have to do that again because 
it will not remember it. Uh, there's another feature. Um, you can wallet to one specific address, but you'll have to copy the pub key for that. And that's what I'm doing right now, copy pub key. And I'm going back into settings, back into app config. I'm scrolling down again and I'm copying that pub key over there. And that is basically the address where your rewards end up. I'm pasting it. And now I can validate it to check if I got the right address. And it says indeed R virus blah, 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 blah. That is okay. We save again. Don't forget to save people. And we go back to our wallet. I didn't need to scroll up, but I did. Okay, now we're going to transactions and go to mining. And what you can do now is we can stop staking. And when you stop staking, uh, the staking status on top will also change. What I'm doing now is I'm putting in one for the amount of processor threads I want to use and click on start mining and you'll see mining status is true, staking status is true and after a while the local mega hash rate will change. And you see the hash rate is 1.106. If I click stop mining, it'll go to back to zero. And if I click on start mining, it will go up again. So it says mining state is true, staking state is true. Well, guys, that is basically all you need to know on how to start. I know it's gonna, uh, I did it in a rush. It's very fast, but I don't want to make an overly long video. I could talk an hour about this. Um, basically, what I uh, encourage you to do is go to viruscoin.io, uh, connect to our Discord. Uh, you can ask questions there. There are a lot of people that want to help you. And happy staking.